The events unfolding in the square tonight, indeed in the last few weeks and in the rest of this country have enormously important repercussions for the rest of Europe, for relationship between the East and the West, between Russia and the European Union and indeed the United States. So what happens down here does certainly not stay down here. Looking at the wider picture and also some of the political repercussions and developments today, here's our reporter James Blake. They chant her name. The opposition leader in prison for more than two years, Julia Tymoshenko, has at last been freed. These images show the emotion of her release after a day of rapid and momentous change. It is the defining and iconic image of revolution. Yet this is not 1989, but 25 years on in Western Ukraine, as people here declared freedom from Russian influence. They've always been closer to Europe in this part of the country. But it's not that easy. As protesters and opposition groups took control of government buildings in the capital today, the political manoeuvrings began. Inside Parliament, as they voted to release Mrs. Tymoshenko, her daughter was given a standing ovation and broke down in tears. I'm very thankful to those people who are fighting for freedom in Ukraine, but me and our family regret that we paid with the blood of our heroes. Then after days of this bloodshed, the leaders of the units responsible, Ukraine's security forces and the elite riot police, appeared on television to pledge their support for the people. The Ukraine is now a country divided by region, the centre of protest and nationalism in the West, in Khmelnytsky, where the statues were toppled, Lviv, which declared itself independent, the opposition groups now in control of Kiev. Yet President Yanukovych retains strong support in Kharkiv in the East. It's very difficult to imagine Yulia Tymoshenko becoming a centre of stability simply because she's a very divisive figure and a lot of people uh, don't like her just as much as many people don't really like President Yanukovych. I think the best uh, option for Ukraine would be to have some new blood. In the Russian-speaking region of Kharkiv, they held a rally in support of Yanukovych, complete with Russian ribbons and Soviet emblems. A lone protester did manage to get on the stage, but not for long. Back in Kiev, it's announced the president is to be impeached as yesterday's deal seems all but forgotten. But this celebration may be premature. Now they must wait to see how President Yanukovych, his supporters and Russia respond or even retaliate to the events of today. The situation here in Kiev is still very fluid indeed. This is still very much a work in progress. But I think it's fair to say one thing. President Yanukovych's days in office are well and truly over. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Matt. And our international editor, Lindsay Hilsom, is also in Ukraine. She's on her way from west to east, where she'll be reporting for us tomorrow. And she's written a blog, which you can read on our website, channel4.com news.